Back in the 1960s, only 1 in 20 women could expect to receive a breast cancer diagnosis. Today, 1 in 7 women can expect to receive that diagnosis. As you can tell, that number has changed dramatically. This morning, we're going to talk about how you can stop breast cancer before it starts with Susan Wadia Ellis. Susan, thank you so much for being back on the show with me this morning. Jenna, thank you. It's, it's really good to be ba back. Susan, it's a pleasure to have you back. One in seven women can now receive a breast cancer diagnosis. Why has this number changed so dramatically? Jenna, that's a really important question, and it's the same question that I asked about five or six years ago when I began to do this research, realizing how these numbers had increased and seeing how many of my friends and family members had been touched um, with breast cancer diagnoses. And there are a number of reasons for this increase. One of them is, I believe, the American diet that um, we have much more sugar in our diet and what we'll talk about a little later in this interview I think is the major causes of breast cancer and and one of them is not having an alkaline body but having an acid body that that really causes breast cancer. Um, another reason is sunblock and that sounds a little strange but um, the sunblock has grown from a zero dollar a year market to a one billion dollar a year market in the United States and um, when you put sunblock on, you block your body's ability to take in any vitamin D3 from the UVB rays in the sun. And so we have young women growing up today who 20 years ago never were able to have the sun touch their, their skin because their parents, well-meaning though they may have been, would slather them with sunblock every time they went out. So, of course, it's important not to burn anyone's skin, be you a baby or be you an adult, but it's very critical that people are allowed to have clear skin without sunblock on for periods of time so they can get some vitamin D3. And we know that, vi that lack of vitamin D3 is a major cause of breast cancer. It, 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 there has a, c a cellular locking system that happens when you have enough vitamin D3 in your system that can protect you against breast cancer. Those are new findings, both of those. The, the alkaline body, the need for an alkaline body, and the need for high levels of vitamin D3 in the blood are, are findings that we've found out about maybe in about like the last 10 years. Mm -hmm. And women really need to begin to understand these causes of breast cancer. You mentioned diet, Susan, and I know that it's so important to have a cancer-blocking diet. Yeah, right. Tell us about the cancer-blocking diet. Okay. Um, well, I think the first thing that people have to understand is that the body, you need to keep your body alkaline. You need to sort of protect your breast cells. And there's this interstitular fluid that flows around our breast cells and, and the rest of the cells in our body as well, but we're looking at breast cancer today. Um, and that fluid needs to be kept alkaline. Um, if we eat very acidic foods and drink acidic things, and we'll talk about what those are in a minute, um, it makes the interstitular fluid really acid and it irritates the cells. And in fact, it starts to clog up the cell walls or the cell membranes. The walls are sort of like, well, they're membranes and the, you know, uh, food can go in, oxygen needs to go in. And that's the oxygen that going in enables the cell to live. Um, if you are eating a diet that is clogging up your cells, then oxygen can't go in and it turns out that the cells now, in order to keep thriving or going, they'll become, they'll go from aerobic to anaerobic, if we're remembering our high school biology here. So they'll stop needing oxygen and instead they start to ferment like a compost heap in your backyard and, and a rotten food, you know, in your front yard or something. And so all those fermenting cells, those cancer cells need sugar. So sugar is the American diet. Pop-tarts, and there's even sugar in the peanut butter these days and in jelly and jam, and there's sugar in sodas, there's sugar in alcohol, there's sugar in everything that people are, um, pretty much everything that people are buying um, or making when they're feeding themselves. And mm -hmm. so we have a society now in which one in two men will develop some type of cancer in their lifetime. And in the U.S., one in three women will develop some type of cancer in their lifetime. So to see 
breast cancer is going from 1 in 20 to 1 in 7 is part of what's happening with all kinds of cancers and the American public. And um, so it's really important that my forthcoming book, Busting Breast Cancer, Seven Simple Steps, I'll plug it, that our daughters, that can protect our daughters and ourselves from this unnecessary disease, talks about very simple things. These mm -hmm. seven simple things are the vitamin D3 and, and, and as we're talking about, the food. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned drinks. There are certain things that we need to be drinking more of. Susan, right. what, sh what is that? More water, more mm -hmm. water that has been filtered, that doesn't have the chlorine in it, that comes out of our tap. I mean, the, the water that comes out of our tap is, quote, safe, yes, but it has chlorine in it that's mixed with other things, and that be gives us what they call xenohormones, which are like false hormones, and that can irritate breast cells along with and make make that interstitular fluid very acid clogging up those cells. So the most important investment anyone can make in their house before even an air conditioner is a water filter. A water filter under their sink, a water filter next to their sink if they don't have space under their sink, and a shower, a filter on their shower so that all of that water coming down once, twice, three times a day that's soaking into your skin is not filled with that chlorine, those xenohormones. So again, and those are pretty inexpensive. If you shop on um, eBay, you can get the water filter, like a reverse osmosis, and an, um, for something like 160 bucks, you don't have to spend thousands of dollars. And a shower filter, maybe 25 bucks, you don't have to spend a lot of money. So that's definitely simple enough yeah, to be, exactly. be doing exactly. right now. Exactly. We need to eliminate sugar. What do we need to add even more of to our diet, Susan? Green, green, mm -hmm. green, green, green. And I've gotten into the, because you want chlorophyll, you want green, you want alkaline, green. So it, and the more raw, the better. The raw foods have these enzymes in them that haven't been cooked out of them. And they really help with digestion, which helps with elimination because you don't want to clog your system up. Mm -hmm. um, and so one of the chapters in my forthcoming book is called bathrooms and brushes. It talks about dry brushing the, your skin and, and taking digestive enzymes and probiotics so that you're visiting the bathroom very often during the day. Like that little baby, you feed the baby and it's time to change the diaper. Mm -hmm. Well, adults need to understand that we should be similar to that. Mm -hmm. I hate to tell you, but we really <laughs> should be to keep ourselves as clean as a baby. Okay. Um, so that, that's another reason. Okay. Now, Susan, there's so much that we can talk about with this, and I will be having you back again in the future. Good. We're running out of time this morning, but people will soon be able to pick up your book, Busting Breast Cancer. Yes. I'm looking forward to it coming out in the first quarter of 2014. Mm -hmm. So we're getting through the chapters now and getting them edited, and there'll be cartoons. It'll be a book that really anyone can pick up, even people who are not really book readers. And it'll be an ebook form as well as paperback form. Um, and probably, as I say, the most important chapter will be that diet chapter. Mm -hmm. um, but right now it's important, I think, for people to start drinking their smoothies. So mm -hmm. to, to juice and with, it, with carrots and spinach and um, anything green and just to be even to dr be drinking that during the day, that can keep you alkaline mm -hmm. um, as you're dealing with all the other acid pieces of our diet. Great. And eliminate the sugar. Yes. <laughs> yes. Susan, thank you again for being on this morning. I look forward to having you back in the future. I'm going to take a quick break right now. I'll be back after these messages. Stay with me.